do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter plant growth and development in that we are studying topic importance of photo periodism when i say photo it means sunlight and periodism it means the amount of sunlight now if i have knowledge of what amount of sunlight a plant would need don't you all think it will be beneficial different plants need different amount of sunlight and by knowing the amount of sunlight they need i can grow different plants in different seasons and get benefit from them importance of photoperiodism the duration of light which a plant requires is nothing but photoperiodic response and critical photoperiodism should not be exceeded by a plant the amount of plant sunlight a plant needs that should not be exceeded the minimum threshold amount should be there if i know the importance of photoperiodism i can induce or inhibit flowering by regulating the light period if i keep a plant in regular light for longer period of time it will flower and if the plant doesn't flowers i can inhibit sunlight and cause flowering so whether a plant flowers or doesn't flowers depending upon the photo period i can find out secondly certain plants can be made or can be kept into vegetative stages example is tubes when you keep tuber that is sweet potato into sunlight it goes into its vegetative state that is the reproductive state that is the speciality of sweet potato keeping its lights make it more vegetative while some can be kept into sunlight and we can induce flowering in them that is the reproductive growth in them for example when you plant a rose plant in your house during the planting of rose plant if the rose plant is a new one you have to give sunlight to that rose plant if you don't give that what will happen obviously your rose will die so depending upon the plant and knowing the photo period it needs and knowing the stage in which the plant is growing it can help the plant a lot lot if the gardener or the person working in nursery who is growing a lot of plants if he has the knowledge that how much amount of sunlight a tomato plant will need how much amount of sunlight a rose plant will need and how much amount of sunlight a sugar cane or sunflower plant will need it makes his job very very easy so whenever you are planning to do gardening or you are planning to have crop pattern or planning to do cultivation or planning to make a nursery you need to know the concept of photoperiodism or the effect of photoperiodic light on different plants it could be a sdp short day plant it could be a ldp day neutral plant or it could be a dnp like rose so depending upon the photoperiodism plants have can have various effects importance of photoperiodism photoperiodism enables to induce or inhibit flowering by regulating the light period example if you know the light period required by the plant to flower you can either inhibit flowering if you don't need you don't want a flower to grow in that plant so you can stop that or either induce or start flowering in that plant certain plants can be kept into vegetative state a vegetative state is nothing but the production of roots stems leaves example tuber or sweet potato it is the vegetative part you all know potato is nothing but it grows inside ground okay it is a modification it's a type of a modification so by keeping it in the exact amount of photo period you can make vegetative type of tuber or you can reduce tuber or stop tuber in its vegetative state
if you know the photo period or photo periodic response of certain plants you can produce the reproductive state in some plants and to yield more flowers and fruits for example if you are a gardener who is planting flowers and selling it for its benefit you obviously obviously want more flowers to be produced in that crop and if you know the photo period the amount of sunlight the plant needs to produce flower you can get benefit out of it the knowledge of knowing photo periodism lays a very important factor while you are doing gardening growing different crops whether you are a florist who sells different flowers and grows flowers during crop whiten especially during plant breeding where you are using different crops and different techniques to grow different crops whether it is the rice variety breed variety during green revolution also photo periodic response has a very important role it so students in this part of the chapter we have studied how photo periodism that is the importance of knowing how much amount of sunlight a particular plant will need can help a different kind of effects on the growth of the plant i hope you are clear about the concept of importance of photo periodism thank you